I'm a storyteller. The essence of narrative is only about this dynamic. There is nothing else in a story other than this dynamic. So the struggle between other people's perceptions and your own wants and desires and who you truly are, your, your significant real self. That's it. That's all there is. You tell me a story that didn't, that we engaged in that's famous that's not about this journey. I'll give you an example. The prodigal son. Parable, Christian, seems religious, doesn't really make much sense. Do you know the story? Sure, but why don't you lay it out? So there's a father. He has two sons, an older son and a younger son. And he says to them, who wants to spend their inheritance? The younger son says, me, dad, I'll go and spend it. And the younger son takes all the dough and he runs off and sniffs coke off strippers' tits for a number of years until he realizes this is getting pretty boring and I'm in a lot of trouble. He ends up feeding, throwing food to pigs. That's his job. And he can't even eat the food that he gives to the pigs, at which point he says, Dad, will you take me back? Dad then goes to, they don't meet. This somehow happens, not through telephones, it just happens. At which point, Dad goes to the fatty calf, says, kill the fatty calf. Older son says, hold on, Dad, what's going on? I've stayed with you since the beginning. I've been loyal to you. And I hear the stories of my younger brother coming back, who's been sniffing coke off strippers tits for the last half, God knows how many years. And you're prepared to kill the fatty calf. What's the SP, Dad? I want to know the story. He says, you're all right, son. Don't worry about that. You take a little side, a little step to the side. You'll always be with me. You're a good boy. At which point he goes out to meet the prodigal son, the wasteful son. The wasteful son returns and he says, you were lost and now you're found. That's the end of the story. It's quite hard to make sense of that in a literal sense. You go, oh, dad was a bit unfair. and You should have been kind to the older son because he never ran off and did anything. But the essence of the story is that you are the father. You are enough. Your older son is your intellect. He says, oh, don't do this, don't do that. He's trying to reconcile, make sense of a prosaic and material world. The younger son, being the wild, feral entity that he is, wants to go out in the world and find out what it's all about. So in his recklessness and sense of adventure, he finds that he can't escape himself. So he has to return to himself. And at which point, he has to accept who he is. At which point, the intellect is left out of the equation pretty much as the older brother, because he can't understand the significance of the journey of the wasteful brother. In the end, you have to leave yourself to understand the value of yourself. You have to lose stuff before you realize that all the stuff that you're losing is ephemeral and transitory. It's not yours. You're enough. You're always enough. But you've got to somehow prostitute yourself before you realize your own value. That is the essence of all stories. That's deep, Guy Ritchie. <laughs> <laughs>